Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today, we're going to be looking at the deferred long-term liability charges. As we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll give you the actual definition, and then we'll go on to look at a little more uh, insight into it as we look at some examples. Deferred long-term liability charges are a collection of future company liabilities, which will typically be summed up and shown as one line item on the balance sheet. The charges are most often made up of deferred tax liabilities, which are to be paid more than one year into the future. For more details on these charges, it is best to read the attached footnotes or other comments with a, which appear on the official earnings statement as filed with the SEC. Now let's go look at the example. As stated in the example, the deferred long-term liability charges will be found on the company's balance sheet. So let's look at the balance sheet here for Walmart. We scroll on down. It's a liability, of course, and it's a long-term liability. So we pass the actual current liabilities to the long-term section. And you'll see right here deferred long-term liability charges here. And you'll see a little figure here. Some cases you won't see anything. In the cases you will. Uh, the thing to note about this is this is more of a a catch-all category so you'll want to go again as the definition explained and go look into the company's annual report or 10k and actually uh, read the notes and see what's actually in there in most cases that the definition actually stated uh, it'll be just uh, taxes that are going to have to be paid in the future um, but for the those of you guys who really want to know how to dig into this is really simple um, you're going to go sit look at the company's annual report if you don't have a, a physical copy of that you can go online in most cases and look it up and we'll do that for this example looking at Walmart and scroll up here and show you where we're at. <clears throat> that up. Move up here. You can see that we are looking at Walmart's balance sheet here, for the January 31st, 2012 period. Let's go ahead and look at the annual report on Walmart's uh, website there. Okay, here we are on the Walmart.com website. If you actually go over here and look at the uh, investor section, you will find, click right here and you'll get yourself a bunch of options including different annual reports that you might be able to um, be interested in looking at. Let's go ahead and click on that. You can see the 2012 annual report. Let's go down here and select the 2011. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we are looking at the 2011 annual report in different uh, sections that we can jump to right quick. Move over here. Let's see, well, where we got financials. All right, down here you can see that we can download the full report or we can just download the financial section as well. I've already downloaded the full report, so let me click to that right quick. Okay, here we are looking at the consolidated balance sheets on page 33 of the full report. We scroll on down past the asset sections, getting into the liabilities, and you will see there is no line item here titled deferred long-term liability charges. That's something that actually uh, Yahoo Finance simply uh, placed there, and then they use anything that the company has uh, had any uh, long-term liability charges that they would have they simply uh, drop into that category but you can see if we lo look at this uh, situation here on uh, Walmart you can see that they have uh, deferred income tax and other okay so let me get this right here we are and just move this over so you can see the actual numbers are accurate you can see this is exactly what you talked about on Yahoo Finance deferred. all right here we are 6682 now let's look at the actual numbers for the uh, financial statements on Yahoo Finance. Okay, here we are on the Walmart uh, Stores Incorporated balance sheet annual data. We move on down here. Okay, back to the liability section we want to look at. Deferred long-term liability charges are right here. And you can see, remember, we actually looked at the 2011 annual report, so it wouldn't be the 2012 number that we're talking about. It's this number here, the 2011, 6682, exact same number right there, okay? And now you know how to look it up and what it is. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.